What do you see outside? <laughs> do you want me down? But I love you. I love you. He's a big boy. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> oh, is he coming up on me? Oh, hi. Hello. How are you guys doing today? This is Ashley. I am back with a new video today with the cats in the cat room. So, I'm actually wanting to play today. <laughs> That's Rue in his tunnel. If you just saw, he's a really big boy and he's trying to fit in this little tunnel, this crinkly tunnel. Um, but anyways, I'm in the cat room, so they're going to be walking around and strolling around so you can say hi to the cats. Um, be sure to check out their Instagram, too, by the way. They have an Instagram. <laughs> um, so you may see some of them kind of hiding out back there while I do some stuff or hiding in my bags as I go through stuff. Because today I have three bags full of Hobby Lobby stuff. I um, finally got, well, I kind of like shot myself in the foot, but I finally got caught kind of a break since uh, Mamma Mia the Musical is over. Sad face. Um, that was such a good show. I got kind of like where I was wait, ready for it to be over, but now that it's actually over, I'm kind of sad that it's over. But I thought, well, I have some time. I can do some crafting. I can do some more videos, different types of videos. And then I just tried out for another play. <laughs> and I'm excited to announce that my husband and I actually got parts in um, the Winnie the Pooh play. And um, it's not like your classic Winnie the Pooh because it, there's no Tigger. But it's still a really cute uh, play. And uh, the best part is my husband, Aaron, gets to be Eeyore. And I am Rabbit. So I'm really excited about that. I've never played um, kind of like a very dramatic, um, over-the-top kind of character like Rabbit is. Rabbit's kind of an instigator in this play a little bit. So I'm really excited to play that part. So... I kind of sort of shot myself in the foot in that it's the end of the year, it's testing, I teach special ed, so there's lots of paperwork I have to do. And then I was like, hmm, I'm actually going to try and start my Etsy store that I have wanted to try for to start for so long. Um, and then I did this play, and anyway, so I'm going to be busy again. I mean, that's just how I live my life, I suppose. But, um, <clears throat> so I want to try and start my Etsy store. I've had this in the back of my mind for two or three years now. I love to do um, lots of crafty things, and I think some people may be interested in it. It may be worth it. Um, I, the way I look at it is you never know until you take a shot. The biggest thing I was worried about is I like pleasing people, and so I don't want to have like a confrontation where something, is, something isn't exactly how someone wants or something happens. Do you know what I mean? If you guys have a store, you deal with customers. You kind of know what I mean. Um, and I also didn't want to deal with like shipping. But I think I can figure that out. There's plenty of articles and things on YouTube I can figure out. So, today I went to Hobby Lobby to buy some things for crafting. The main stuff that I bought um, was for mouse ears, for Mickey ears. Uh, as you guys know, if you've watched my videos before, I love Disney World. I love Disney. Um, <laughs> I wish I lived in Florida and I could work at Disney World. So, I like to make my mouse ears and wear them into the park. I made my first set of mouse ears. I can see them over there. They were Rapunzel themed and they weren't the best. But then I slowly kind of perfected my technique. My next pair of ears were the Marie ears and you can see in my box lunch haul. And then like my next pair of ears are my favorite ears I've ever made in my, in my entire life. I get so many com compliments on them at Disney World. People love them. They are my stormtrooper um, Captain Phasma kind of inspired because of the color of the metallic hair. But I love these ears so much and people always compliment me on them. And I have friends, some friends and family who are like, hey, if you make those, I will buy them from you. So I know there's a big group of people that make these and like make them top quality and stuff. But I don't know. I just thought I'd give it a try because why not? You never know until you actually try. So I may have some of that stuff available. So... Hobby Lobby haul. <laughs> that is what I mostly bought is stuff to make a couple of ears. Not a couple, probably about four or five pairs of ears. And then I have some leftover stuff that I can use here as well. So, yes, Hobby Lobby. Okay, the first thing that I bought is 
kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I also love squishies. And I have a DIY squishy thing where you can paint your own squishies that I want to try at some point on this channel. But then I also found some poly foam. Just some foam that you would stick inside a cushion or um, a pillow or something. And I thought I would maybe try to use this to make and cut out squishies of my very own since I love squishies so very much. So maybe look out for that in the future. So I bought this poly foam, $3.99, and then Hobby Lobby always has sales on everything. Like literally everything I got was either 20% to 40% off. So that's great. So this was probably on sale as well. So poly foam. Oh, Rudy, he's playing with that. You're making me nervous. He's playing with the little string. Maybe he'll be okay if I just watch him. Um, the next thing that I got for my crafting are headbands. Like, if you're going to do Mickey ears, mouse ears, mini ears, whatever you want to call them, um, you have to have headbands. So, I got a bunch of headbands. She kind of like this. Ruber. Pipes. Find something else to do. <laughs> you're so cute. Go ahead. Um, but you have to have headbands to make them. So, I found a couple of headbands and sometimes like with the Star Wars ones I didn't cover them because they turned out so good I didn't have to cover them with any fabric but I, I don't know if I may try and cover these with other fabric so I got some white plain white ones but these were $1.99 each and I think they were probably like 10 percent off or something like that so I bought five I think I have two or three still left over so I think that's a good pretty good collection of things to get started for my mouse ears um, the other things I bought, there's some ceramic stuff in here that's not craft related, but I will show you anyways in a second. Um, okay, the other craft stuff that I bought, I wanted to try and do, I don't remember how long Flower and Garden lasts, the festival at Epcot that they, uh, do during the springtime, the festival of, not festival of arts, uh, did I say Flower and Garden? I think I said Flower and Garden, but I'm thinking festival of arts because that, that kind of comes into. But um, I don't know how long that lasts, so I might make these ears and save them for later, or if people just like flower-inspired Mickey Mouse ears. Um, but I found a bunch of, like, really cheap um, ribbon that would be good to kind of, like, do details on for, like, flower and garden type ears. So those 74 cents for these a piece. I thought these are really cute, and I could use them on lots of other things, too. Probably not going to focus very well, but I thought those were cute. And then there's that one. So those will work. And then I found some fabric I'm going to show you in a minute that will go with this ribbon. It's based on a Disney princess, so um, fabric to go with the Disney princess. Before I show you the fabric, excuse me. <coughs> what is with all these interruptions? Before I show you the fabric, I will show you the ribbon, and I'll see if you can guess what Disney princess it is. Um, so this is the ribbon that I bought for the princess specific ears. Uh, there you go. It's kind of like a gold rose type ribbon. So see if you can guess which princess this is going to be based on. I'll show you the fabric in just a minute. Okay. I think that's all the ribbon. No, I bought one more ribbon. She kind of like threw things everywhere <laughs> in like every box. Um, oh, the other craft that I'm going to do, um, that I'm not going to sell, this is just for me, but my husband bought me just a plain Mickey Mouse, um, head pin board. Um, I think I showed it in my Christmas haul, some, I don't know if I showed this or not, maybe not. But anyways, he bought this for me and I, I love it, I love it, I love it, I'm ready to put pins on it, but, fuzz, eh. um, but it's plain, I'm going to deck it out, make it look nice. I'm going to put a bow on it to maybe do some, like, bead details around it or something and make it look fancy instead of just plain. Um, but then I bought some ribbons. So my idea was, and I'll do a video on this, I promise, at some point. <laughs> but my idea was is to, at the bottom, to attach, like, two or three, maybe two, because how big it is. But maybe two, like, ribbons. And this is the ribbon that I bought. And it's... Mickey Mouse heads. So the plan is to take this and like make strips, maybe two strips, so I can put my um, park buttons on there because I like to buy a lot of park buttons. That was the thing that I was going to buy that I didn't do. 
I was going to buy like plain buttons that I could print off things that I wanted to put on the buttons, like in the button. Ugh, I have to get that some other time. I won't have time to do all this anyways. I don't know why I feel like I have to have all this right now. Because I'm not going to have time to do it all right now. But, so I bought that for that specifically. But this would be cute on uh, making like hair bows. Something of that nature as well. Because I like to make small hair bows too for like kids and all that too. Um, let's see. I think it's all the ribbon. And then I bought some like little fabric-y flower doodads that could kind of go on the flower and garden ears or any other type of princessy ear. Ooh, I could do some Alice in Wonderland ears and have like flowers. It's one of my favorite scenes is when she talks to the flowers. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then I also bought some of the things for the ears. Here it is. Okay. I bought some fabric. Now, one of my favorite things about Hobby Lobby, the favorite things about going shopping anywhere is finding the clearance and the bargain bin stuff. <laughs> That's my favorite place to shop. And our Hobby Lobby, I don't know if you, you know this, a lot of people probably do if you do a lot of crafting or sewing and working with fabric, but at Hobby Lobby, when they run out of the reams, like the, the big fabric that's on, that's wrapped up in the ream, um, when they run out or they like cut off so much and the customer doesn't like want that much or they cut off, you know what I mean, they, cut, they end up with scraps. That's, <laughs> that's what that all meant. They end up with scraps and when they end up with the scraps, <clears throat> They put them in like the clearance clearance section and they wrap them up and you can buy them at a cheaper price. So I found some of that. I found some red sequins, which I love to do bows with. So, oh, there's the price. Okay, I can't read it backwards. But I think it was $3.49 and I got it for $2.09. And this, it tells you how much. It's um, 44 inches wide and 21 inches in length. So that's perfect to make maybe four or five bows um, for a really cheap price. And then I got some pink satin that I thought would be super cute for light flower and garden or to remake my um, Marie ears because I want to retry and make those. I explained that in my box lunch video as well. But I got this and it was it's uh, 60 inches wide and 25 inches long. It was $3.46 and I got it for $2.07. Not terrible. Um, also for the ears, I like to buy... Um, Fat quarters, <laughs> that sounds funny, but fat quarters are like basically um, squares of fabric, like quarter size squares of fabric, do you know what I mean? Um, that you can make quilts out of and other things that people usually use them, like they're already pre-cut so you can use them for quilting. Um, but I found this pretty pattern, which I thought would be great for flower and garden, even though it might be over by the time I have my Etsy store, but who knows? And I found this pretty pattern that I thought was super cute. So, I'm going to use this to, like, cover the actual ears and then do, like, a pretty bow that matches with the color. That is the plan. Um, okay. The other fabric. Oh, yeah. I got purple. Purple sequins. I have a darker purple, and I found this lighter purple. That was super pretty. Oops. Maybe I can remake... Maybe I can remake my Rapunzel ears at some point, too, and I could use this. So... I got this as well. Purple sequin, 45 inches in width, 17 inches in length, $2.99 marked price. I got it for $1.79. So there's that. Um, I also bought random fabric just because I thought I might make like the cats a pillow or a blanket or a bed or something. I don't know, but this is like that little bobbly type material. That's what I call it. It's like a bobble stitch that you do in crochet, but it's fleece and it's really soft. This is um, 60 inches wide, and it's actually a full yard. So, um, and it's fleece. It's $12.99, but I got it for $7.79. So, a full yard of fabric for $7.79. A fleece. So that's not terrible. Okay. Um, okay, now the fabric. I say okay a lot. Oh, wait, one more. <laughs> one more. This is like a... Uh, uh, no, it's not chevron. I don't know what this is. I don't remember what this pattern is called, but I thought it was pretty. I thought I thought it might make like a cute pair of neutral ears or something or something like Epcot themed because it reminds me of Spaceship Earth. I don't know. Um, this was I bought this because it was uh, it's 44 inches in width, but it's seven inches. Uh, no, yeah, long, seven inches long. So that would make perfect bows because it's like wide, but it doesn't have to be super long. And I got it for eight, 81 cents. So. 
Um, let's see. Okay, here's the fabric that I was waiting for. This is the fabric that I paid, um, not technically full price for it because I got it at a, at a discount. It was like 40% off. But this was like that I actually took the reams of fabric and took it up to the guy and he cut it for me. So I got a yard of each of these fabrics. I got this really pretty just red with darker red Mickey Mouse head fabric that I thought this would make a pretty cute bow for my pin board if I don't decide to use other fabric. Um, I thought it'd be really cute. It would make it pop like really well. Um, or I could just make regular cute ears or bows, hair bows. So I got that. And then in honor of me and my husband getting a part. Oh, you know what? Oh, is there not a rabbit in here? <gasps> oh, I am disappoint. So disappoint. I'm going to have to go find some Winnie the Pooh fabric that has rabbit on it now. <laughs> um, but anyways, in honor of my husband and I both getting a part in Winnie the Pooh, I grabbed some Winnie the Pooh ears. I don't have Winnie the Pooh ears. I don't see Winnie the Pooh ears up that much either. So I thought these would be cute. To like cut out like this would be like one ear and maybe like piglet and part of poo would be one ear or something. So I thought that would be cute too. Okay. Um, and then here's the fabric for the princess. So if you guessed that it was Belle from Beauty and the Beast, you are correct. That ribbon, uh, this ribbon that I was going to use because I found this awesome fabric. Da -da -da -da. It's like the stained glass um, story of the Beauty and the Beast. It has Prince Adam shunning the uh, Enchantress and then it shows her turning into the actual beautiful Enchantress and then it has the rose in there at some point. I don't know what you're seeing. Yeah, it has the rose in there, it has the castle and then it even has uh, the very end where Belle and Prince Adam were together. So I thought that was super pretty and this will make very, very pretty ears. I think it would, I think I can make like four or five out of all of this. And I can even make some bows, like if I cut it out right. Be super cute. Okay, this video is very long. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I think that's all the craft stuff. Yeah, this is, it's almost over. It's almost over. So that's all the craft stuff. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. If you um, just stay for the craft stuff, there you go, you can end here. <laughs> um, but I also bought some stuff for Easter because Easter's coming up. I don't have a lot for Easter. I love to decorate for every single season every single um holiday first thing i will show you um i also tell you as well i don't know if i said it before but my front little garden <laughs> that i have has little statues of snow white and every single one of the dwarfs so i thought that these would be super cute for spring since my flowers don't grow very well because it floods there a lot i even tried to put in like a little drain and Anyway, it, <laughs> my flowers don't survive. So I found these cute, like whimsical little metal flowers. I thought they were super cute. They even have glitter on them and stuff. They're probably not, I mean, yeah, they're yard decor, decor. But um, I don't know, they, I don't know if they stand up to the weather very well, but I thought they were so cute. They'd be super whimsical to stick out there with the, um, the seven dwarves and Snow White, so. I got those to put out when it starts warming up. We actually have a chance of snow um, coming up tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see, oh, here's one more thing. I'm gonna try these guys out. I got some fabric glue too. Wait, what? What? There it is. Okay, I forgot I forgot about some glue. Um, fabric glue, this is um, gonna be like my tester thing to use to see if I can use it for some of the ears. Cause I don't always like sewing them. It takes it a little bit longer to do. I like to hot glue them, but I want them to look nice. So I thought I would try some fabric glue. And then I also found this. This is fabric glue, but it's like in a stick that you can put in your hot glue gun. So we'll try it and we'll see if it works. Who knows? I may have stumbled upon something wonderful. Okay, so the actual Easter stuff now. Um, is it all rabbits? It's all rabbits. I did not do that intentionally because I did not know I had the part of rabbit until after I went to Hobby Lobby. But I bought a bunch of rabbits. I guess that could have been like foreshadowing. Um, but I couldn't pass these up. Little rabbits are just so stinking cute. So look at this guy. It reminds me of Rue for some reason. <laughs> Probably because it's big and fat. <laughs> and super cute. But I got this little rabbity guy just to sit on my 
table or my coffee table or something. And then I got his little friend that matches. It's kind of standing up. I like to get things in pairs. I always feel bad if I separate things. So those were pretty cheap. They're like a dollar something on sale. Um, yes, these are the other two rabbits I bought. I thought these were different. I haven't seen any like these before. Um, they kind of remind me of Totoro. I love Studio Ghibli as well. So, yeah. <laughs> so they look like Totoro kind of to me. But they have like little metal crimped ears. And they are kind of like ceramic. Um, but they look like eggs. <laughs> and then they have little bunny faces and bunny ears. So I thought those were kind of cute. Kind of, here's Aaron and here's Ashley. <laughs> so I have those to put out. And the last thing that I bought for Easter, I couldn't pass her up. She was so stinking cute. She wasn't that expensive either, I don't think. But it's another ceramic bunny. And look how sweet. Oh, look how sweet she is. I love her. She's just solid white. She has like a little flower crown. She's got some blush. She has a basket full of flowers. That's all she is. She's super cute. Oh, she was only $7.99 and they were 40% off. So I got it for like, what, about $34? But I thought she was so pretty. So that's all the Easter that I got. I better wrap these back up because Mac is like, no, Mackie can't see me. Um, the last thing that I'm going to show you, I bought this for my husband. It wasn't on sale, unfortunately. Whenever they rang it up, I was like, Dad, gum it!" But it's the only thing I got that was full price, and I couldn't pass it up because we both love the Avengers. Um, and his two favorite Avengers are Captain America and Iron Man. And when I saw this, I was like, this is for him. He has kind of like control over our geek room. This is like my office in the cat room. And then down the hall, he has the geek room where he does all his airsoft stuff. And it's where we have all of our like pops and all that collectible stuff. Um, on my door, I have a Tsum Tsum, where's that? A Tsum Tsum hanger that says chill out that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I found him a hanger. I found him an Avengers hanger. So I have um, Captain American on this side and it says, welcome, the captain is in. <laughs> and then this side uh, has Iron Man and it says, not to now, busy saving the world. So I thought that was really cool. I mean, yes, yes, we are like 10 years old. That's okay. <laughs> but um I thought it was super cool definitely something that he loved I showed it to him and he was so happy he was like wow that's really cool I like to surprise him with little things like that sometimes that he doesn't expect to get but he loves so yay bought that for my husband at Hobby Lobby so that was my like craft haul to kind of help me jump start into an Etsy business hopefully cross my fingers who knows um but I really want to try that as soon as I can. Probably over spring break, I'll do a lot of like creating and then doing the listings and stuff. So if I happen to come up on doing that, I may kind of like share it on my channel or something if anybody's interested. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for joining me and my cute little kitty cats. I switched a Roo out for a Mac. Mac sitting here right now, so pretty. Um, so thank you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.